right here. Um, right. That's pretty much it. Yeah. What's up, guys? Ralph here. I am in our office. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. Here I got with me Anissa. And here got someone y'all know very well. What's up everybody? G over here. Getting ready to do our thing. Hitting the street. Going on patrol. That's right. Again, I don't think I've seen you guys since the ultra vlog. We just ran into Officer Frazier who's giving us an escort to the front of the main stage. Let's go. I just had baby number two, so I was on FMLA. Now we're back, we're gonna be doing a cold vlog today. Gio, as you guys have seen, has been doing a mini photo series. See how our officers keep the ultranauts safe. Oh my God. Yeah, if you guys are following us on TikTok, you'll see that uh, we're, we're posting different uh, videos. Um, Nick is uh, spearheading that and uh, I'm going on there with photo series. So I'm documenting and highlighting different officers. Um, if I go on a, a vlog with them, I take my uh, my Canon with me. I got the Canon EOS R. We'll go out and take some pictures. Um, some of you have actually um, saw the Ultra Fest one. Were asking me about the, the camera and the lenses I use. So I'm I'm right now using the EOS R mirrorless system. I have different L lenses, EF and RF lenses I use. I mainly use the 24 to 70 EF. Um, I drop on some of the RF, like the 16 millimeter for some wider shots, but mainly it's the 24 to 70, or I'll drop on that big white lens that I have, which is the 70 to 200. Um, they're both EF lenses. I love them. They're great lenses. So if you want any more um, camera information on what we use, how I use it, just, you know, shoot me a, a DM, comment below, and I'll go ahead and answer those uh, questions as best as I can. We actually have a social media explorer that I don't think you guys have seen, so we should take the explorer today, right? So, take, oh, we're taking the Explorer. I'll we'll take the Explorer. Hey, let's do the Explorer. I'm definitely down to go in there. We're going to take the Explorer today. You know, I think it's the first time I've been in that one. I don't think I've been in there yet. Gio. Gio, say hi. Gio, Gio. Gio, they say go Gio. They see you on the vlog. Hold on, we're going to come right back. i got to put this in the car first. All right, so every summer, they got the Police Explorer Academy going on. That's what you see right there. Class 65. Yes, ma'am. Sound off where there is unity. Where there is unity. It's a two-week academy. They do it every single summer. So if you didn't know, now you know. Oh, there we go. All right. Someone needs to take this car to the wash. Look at this car, how dirty it is. What is going on? This is not very good. I saw this is a shared car, I'm not gonna name who. You gotta clean this car, man. I'm gonna go ahead, take it to the car wash so it can look a little better. We're under the 95, so unfortunately with all the dust and everything, I'm it does get dirty. I'm so. sure it's because we're under 95, right? I think so. Uh, So now that we got the car washed, nice and clean, we're ready to go. We're gonna monitor the radio and going by calls citywide. Let's go. This tag. So while we're monitoring the radio, we heard that there was a traffic crash here on Northeast 2nd Avenue and 20th Street, right between Wynwood and Edgewater. We got one of our PSAs that's here. It looks like she's getting information along with an officer who's assisting. Let's talk to PSA Barnett so we can see exactly what it is that happened. So we had a black SUV that was traveling from traveling westbound on North, West, Northeast 20th Terrace. She was attempting to proceed straight ahead from the stop sign and we had
had a gray Toyota Corolla traveling south on Northeast 2nd Avenue for seeing straight ahead and that's where the impact came. So it looks like in this case the black vehicle is going to be at fault. The black vehicle will be at fault to you from coming from a stop sign. Yeah, jumping out into the street trying to cross, out, trying, trying to cross, to, cross, cross uh, to pursue straight ahead. Correct. And what is it that you're doing right now? Like what process? Right you now I am running um, their information through FCIC to find out if the license is valid see who the vehicle is registered to. Her license is so Officer Lupin over here, 27 year veteran, done homicide, been on patrol, well rounded officer. Um, he went ahead and had to take over the call from the PSA because there was an issue with the license. Right? The license, the license been uh, been invalid, but the only issue I'm having is that when I spoke with her earlier, she told me that the license was stolen. So in other words, she didn't know that the license is invalid. Gotcha. So as a result, the only thing I can do now, based on the state of Florida, mm -hmm. I can only give all citation for invalid driver's license. Gotcha. And now so she now has the knowledge. Now she has the knowledge now, yeah. as I explained to her, and I said, look, it being recorded, now you have knowledge. You have to be responsible and go to the DMV and get your driver's license. Otherwise, next time a police officer pull you over, mm -hmm. you're going to go to jail. There will be Absolutely. no more escapes. Absolutely. Yes. yes. Now she knows. She can't go ahead she can't go. and say anything. She knows. Yeah. She has to get that license. All right, brother. Good All right. job. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. The radio's kind of slow right now. It's lunchtime, so right. time to go a little quick bite to eat. Time to go get a little bite to eat, like Gio said. time of the day, right? That's right. <laughs> so the other day, the people from DC Pie were kind enough to come over to our station and donate about 10 boxes of pizza for our patrol officers before they went on their shift. And don't forget, they had some coupon codes too. They were giving out to the officers. Roll call, they had about 300 uh, cards they were giving out to everybody for appreciation for the work that the officers have been doing in the area. That's right, so we told them that we will come check out their restaurant in person the next time we got a chance. Right now we're hungry, so... We're gonna take that chance. Now's our chance. Let's head over to DC Pie in Brickell. Give us a quick tour because okay. this is yes. so cool. Check this out. The Brickstone oven, freshly made. Everything you see is fresh ingredients. Nothing's frozen. Everything is made to order. So I heard you guys have a little secret spot in the back. Oh, yes. So very cool, pizza enjoyed by the day, bar at night. You really get the best of both worlds. But now the most important thing is to see how's the food. For all my foodies out there, super fresh. I had the portobello mushroom pizza. We did half pepperoni, half portobello mushroom. It's got a nice crisp, it didn't sag. First bite was delicious. We got some meatballs here and a kale salad. Wings coming through. Oh my goodness, forget about it. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful aroma. Definitely gonna be one of my favorite places I'll be visiting here on my days off. So if you're in the area, definitely give them a, you know, give them a try. Unfortunately, rolling the dice with the lives of potential children. You're creating a delusion. You're inappropriately taking unresponsible actions to then bring kids into this chaos. You can send child support, you can do all of that, but there's no amount of money on this planet. Trust me, I might be a lot of things in life and a work in progress on a lot of things, but there's one title I would never sacrifice, father. Now I'm telling you, you could pay child support and do all of these things, but there's one thing that every kid wants over any amount of money, time. And that is priceless. All right, guys, I got with me Officer Aline. What's up, brother? What's going on, um, When this call uh, that we're at right now came out, it came out initially as a vandalism to a vehicle. That's correct. Um, that a uh, windshield was broken. The vandalized call or the signal that went out was nothing more to get us present so that he doesn't look like the bad guy and so she could um, leave the premises. But there was no, not even a mention of a vandalism, and he was blaming 
the young lady, the other party on the, uh, the call for everything. He's still having um, an intimate relationship with her, creating false hope. I told him you're creating false hope that you guys are gonna be together and you're playing games. Calls like this, you could have easily got in here, said, hey, you know, where's the vandalism? There's no vandals, okay, see ya, have a good day. But, you know, Officer Lean did a great job. You know, sometimes going that, that extra mile, showing that you care uh, and just uh, going above and beyond and, you know, trying to give him some life advice, whether he took it or not, right. you know, whether he's receptive to it or not. I think just as a human and as an officer, you feel that obligation to, to do it. Well, good morning. Are you aware of why I stopped you? Let me give you some information. The reason I stopped you, I came through a stop sign. This is a shopping plaza, right? On the norm, there are a lot of women like yourself, with babies, there's the elderly, there's a lot of people in this, see? There's one right there, look at God. See a lady there with a stroller? I encourage people to be mindful, especially if they're coming through a plaza because there's so many things going on, it's easy to strike a person. But you come through here a lot. You violate that stop sign again, you will be cited. So I'm just, I'm just encouraging you to slow your thoughts down. Those bills are still gonna come. They have a lot of parking violation issues. Without the presence of um, police, they're also breaking into vehicles as as um, people are going to the gym or just shopping. So our presence alone deters a, a lot of things. And that's what we're trying to do is um, create awareness for the people violating the uh, in stop shining the intersection, as well as just be pre present for whatever else uh, people need. You guys, 23 years on veteran. Um, you'll notice that Officer Lean, he's been on our vlogs before, but he's one of the senior officers that I always like to catch up with when, when he's around because he brings a lot of insight, he gives great advice, and he's always giving 110% of himself, you know, not only with the job, but in the engagement with the community. So it's not uncommon for an officer after a call, if you notice he just had his call, a little bit of downtime, he comes over here, and he's managing the plaza to make sure that everybody's safe as an officer presence. So an officer that's working throughout their, their tour of duty, they're gonna go ahead and manage on calls and then proactive work in between. And that's something that Officer Lean always does very, very well. So with that being said, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. See you later.